video is part of my slow motion series for very visual learners. In it, I'm going to show you what is usually a wrong side of the work, one stitch increase. It's called purl front back or PFB. And it's a pretty common increase, not the easiest thing to work. I'm going to demonstrate to you in slow motion how to work this stitch, but I'm also going to show you an alternative way of working this stitch that is PBF. And um, it's just moving things around a little bit and the, they, it ends up being the same results. I'll let you decide which one you prefer. But first, let's go slow mo. Here we can take a look at what PFB stitches look like. I've increased on the wrong side of the work every wrong side of the work right after the marker. First I'm going to purl up to the marker. And I always pull my yarn back after the first purl stitch to tighten up that stitch so that my edge tension stays nice. Okay, slip the marker. This is a purl front back. So we start with a normal purl stitch, but we don't pull the old stitch off the left needle. Swing your needle around to go into the stitch, the back loop of the stitch in kind of the most unnatural way. Wrap the needle and pull it through. And then pop the old stitch off the left needle. Let's do that again. Normal purl stitch, easy enough. Leave the old stitch on the left needle. Take the tip of your right needle and put it in like from the wrong side, from the back forward. Aim for the lowest part of the stitch to get it in there. And then keeping good tension on the working yarn, pull that stitch through. And pop the old stitch off the left needle. Now I'm going to demonstrate purl back front, which I think is a little easier. You start with the more difficult half of the stitch. Come in at that stitch from the back forward the back loop of the stitch, wrap the needle, pull it through, and leave the old stitch on the left needle. Then swing your needle around to work a normal purl stitch. And take the old stitch off the left needle. So the more difficult half of the stitch first, knit or purl through the back loop, and then when everything's tight and crammed up kind of, then work a normal purl stitch, which is just easier to do. Lots of tension on the working yarn when you pull that stitch through so you don't lose the stitch. Lots of increases there. Ooh, that was a lot of pearl increases all at once. I hope that helps, gives you a couple different options for working the stitch. Good luck.